Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at the Zotac GeForce uh, 1660Ti. Uh, so this one has uh, six gigabytes of DDR6 with the bit bus of 192. It's a very popular alternative to the, uh, you know, 360Ti, 3070 for those who can't find one or can afford one basically. Um, I was able to get this, like I mentioned on the last video, from uh, Canada Computers. It, it's a, it's honestly they're starting to scalp a bit the these uh, but it's still you know less than the eBay prices so it's a little, a little extra the MSRP but I was hoping we can get this uh, getting from this two dollars a day uh, so I wanted to benchmark this I'm building a mining rig of these two first things first we're gonna take a look at the potential profitability from uh, what to mine and then after we're gonna take a look at the benchmark from mass hash and try to overclock this of course and see what uh, what what can we get from it stand by so this is a very good uh, reference i mentioned these uh, this website in my previous videos mining chamber so here you can uh, check the overclock settings of your card to get the optimal settings so if you scroll down here you see here we're gonna put a power limit of 60 percent 80 watt minus 200 on the core clock and uh, plus 1100 if you're on windows or 2200 if you're on linux on the memory clock uh, fan speed 70 percent or less uh, based on uh, my temps so we should get here uh, 31 uh, mega hash with 85 watts um, so if you go to what to mine you have the card selected here they show 28 mega hash however the numbers i'm getting are closer to the ones from uh, mining chamber so if we go to the profitability settings if you put here the hash rate uh, that's the current hash rate i'll show you so very so closely uh, we have 30.5 and if you look here you're gonna make two dollars point five cents a day and however you have the cost of the electricity so one uh, dollar profit a day so see it's not really amazing but it's, it's better than nothing um, this is why it's always better to get your hands on a 3070 to the 60 Ti, but if you can't and you know uh, you're a casual gamer, this card can play I think 180p games perfectly fine and you can mine on it. Uh, so it's not really a bad card, just you have a longer ROI than the 3070 for instance. Um, so uh, yeah, let's move on to the nice hash miner settings. So here I have two of these running on one rig. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm getting around 30.5 mega hash uh, I have here the high setting selected and my wattage is 70 to do what 40% 46% fan on the first one and 100% fan on the second one uh, I need to add more fans here guys so uh, you know don't mind the temperature here I know it's a bit high but it's still the, uh, the VRAM is still good and it's a bit high for this uh, GTX but it's been quite warm these days and I'm gonna add more fans so hopefully I'm gonna try to lower this uh, 72 to be close to a 60. I don't like it that high, so I'll have to ramp up the cooling on my end. However, you see, I have two of those selected one rig and one desktop. I mean, 61 mega hash, so it's making me money. Uh, you know, so the, the profitability is like uh, 9792 bitcoins, of course, you're 0 0.000 dot all that. Uh, but uh, you know, if it makes me four dollars a day. Uh, two dollars electricity. However, in my province, the electrical costs are not that much, so hopefully, you know, uh, it should not be that bad. With the efficiency here, if I combine the two, I'm getting 0 0.42 uh, mega hash on this. Uh, so it's not a bad card to mine, and uh, you know, uh, when I showed it to you, I noticed also it has a very small form factor. You know, if you have a mini ATX space, it can make a difference for you. Uh, so it's really the smallest cards of all the, you know, all the current cards that you see here. It's one of the smallest form factors. So if you can find one of uh, Amazon, they're usually cheaper than kind of computers or, you know, even Best Buy is better. Uh, but if you can get this at MSRP, it's a, it's a good card. You just have a longer ROI. However, it's better than nothing, like I mentioned. So, uh, yeah, please uh, leave me any comments. You have any? Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a good weekend, guys.